I just think it's a waste of time, a waste of effort. Mm -hmm. Let's focus on what we can change. Mm -hmm. Let's focus on actually bringing down the cost of care. If, if Medicare pays me or, or a, an individual pays me $500, I can provide ridiculous amounts of high quality care. Mm -hmm. like, like, let me take you out of that world for just one second. I've done YouTube videos on this and I think it's really interesting. Do you understand the business model of Costco? Do you have Costco? Do you know what Costco is? Oh yeah, it's one of my primary places to shop. Okay, why do you like Costco? Because um, most goods I buy from Costco are cheaper than I would get at a grocery store. Okay, and what is the business model of Costco? How does Costco make money? How do they stay in business if they're selling goods less than the grocery store? Because they sell them in bulk quantities. That's part of it. And also, um, you have to have a membership. But I, and, you know, so it's like fifty dollars, a hundred dollars a year to be a Costco member. So think about that. So Costco's primary source of profitable income is the membership. They make over three or four billion dollars a year from membership dues. It only costs you, like you said. I mean, nothing in a year. Mm -hmm. But that is the whole business model of Costco. Costco says, okay, we're going to go out and we're going to source the best possible products. We're going to bring them to our members at the lowest possible price. We don't want to make a profit. Costco has said we don't want to make a profit on the products we sell. Huh. we're not in the business and this is where i always tell therapists you have to understand the business you're in costco is not in the business of selling retail products costco is in the business you hire costco when you buy your membership you hire costco to go out find source and deliver the lowest cost highest quality products so that you can buy them at that rate hmm. Costco makes its money on memberships and they deliver value by, by distribution and logistics of getting those products to you in their centers. Wow. Okay. Now take that idea for a, a second and bring it into the world of therapy. Um, right now on average, uh, when we look at financial reports for a public physical therapy company, we know that about 56% of the gross collections goes to covering salary the about 22 percent goes to covering rent utilities overhead and then it kind of breaks down from there right what if i opened a, a model a design where i hire west you and i say hey west this is the deal i'm gonna i'm gonna pay you 50 bucks an hour 50 bucks an hour for a staff therapist in an outpatient private practice is pretty good yeah. you know Going rates about 35 bucks an hour plus benefits. I pay you a flat 50. I tell you everything is going to be one on one care. Okay. Um, so, what does that mean to me as the person hiring you? Well, I need to cover the cost of $50. If you were a product on the shelf in a Costco warehouse, we would want to generate about $51, $52 um, to sell your service for the hour. So, okay. So, what does that mean? Well, if I had three patients, each getting 20 minutes of one-on-one -on -one therapy, I could sell it for less than $20. Right. right? So that's pretty good. Like if a, ther if a patient came in for therapy yeah. and could pay 20 bucks, get 20 minutes one-on-one -on -one with a therapist and then do the rest of their exercises independently or, or whatever, that's pretty darn good. That's $60 an hour. That lets me pay you 50 plus cover taxes and other stuff. Now I'm at break even. I just brought the cost down from a typical hundred dollar value to $20. Uh, where do I make my money? Okay. Well, maybe I'm doing a clinic where I'm saying, look, we don't take any insurance. It's $20 unlimited physical therapy. It's $20 a session. You pay me a hundred hundred dollars a year membership mm -hmm. to have access to twenty dollar a session therapy. Mm -hmm. In a heartbeat, that stuff would go. That would sell. Mm -hmm. Like that would be massively profitable. Now the drawbacks: you have lots of volume. I can't fit enough people in two thousand square feet for me to to make that work. 
But if I had something like a Planet Fitness, an LA Fitness, a Gold's Gym, if I had 10, 15, 20,000 square feet and mm -hmm. I had, you know, 20 therapists who were willing to work for $50 an hour doing one-on-one -on -one care, that's a, pro that's a gold mine right there. Mm -hmm. The individual client. Now, what I would do is I would say you pay $100 per episode of care and then you get care for $20 a visit, right? Now we're turning over because people don't always yeah. need 12 months hey. and stuff like that. Say that again. So $100 per episode of care. Yeah. So an episode of care might be three months. Okay. You, know, you develop a plan of care, post op rotator cuff repair, three months of therapy is what they need. Okay. They pay me 100 bucks for access to the facility and okay. to be a member. Now that they're a member, they pay $20 per treatment. A treatment is anything you, the therapist, want a treatment to be. Okay. We're shooting for three patients an hour, 20 minutes of one-on-one -on -one time with the therapist an hour, right? So mm -hmm. you're still one-on-one -on -one with everybody, but it's not insurance-based. So we have a different burden for documentation, much less tedious documentation. Right. Um, much more flexibility in what you want to do um even a complex post-op rotator cuff like do you really need more than 20 minutes of manu of manual work passive range before they go and do some stuff they can do under general supervision right you know so there is huge value and opportunity there and 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 it saves the insurance for the people who really need it mm -hmm. it saves the the um it reduces the barriers to entry because now anybody can afford a $20 physical therapy session. Right. You know, um, it, it increases profitability exponentially. Mm. Now therapists are making 50 bucks an hour. And, and obviously there's ways to leverage that even higher with upsells and bonuses and premiums. 